From the beginning of my career, I've been very fortunate to work with world leaders in congenital hyperinsulinism, and I've really developed an interest in helping babies with hypoglycemia. And as a result, uh, we put together the team here in Cook Children's, and we applied to the FDA for the investigational new drug license for the 18F DOPA in 2012, and we finally were able to start scanning. 18F DOPA, although it is the standard of care for x-raying these children, it's, um, it can only be given under an FDA-approved investigation protocol. And so when families come here, they have to agree to participate in the research, sign the consent forms. And this is because the FDA really wants to watch very carefully how these kids are doing, are there any side effects or complications, and track it. So that hopefully in the future, we'll be able to get this developed as a, a drug that can be prescribed and uh, administered without being in a research protocol. What we really need is the development of new drugs and right now we've uh, partnered with the pharmaceutical company and received a large NIH grant to study and some of these new drugs and currently we're studying the use of glucagon uh, th given through an insulin pump to try and prevent hypoglycemia. And what we're hoping for is in the next few years that we'll get some drugs approved through the FDA that are safe, that work well and that will avoid the need for surgery in those in whom we can't cure and give the families a quality of life that's acceptable. These new drugs should make it so that they can eat like a normal child, not have to get up in the middle of the night or not have to have a tube in their tummy to tube feed them and to enable them to have the normal freedom of a normal child and run around and play. So it's very interesting because we see a patient like Melody who comes in really, really sick with profound hypoglycemia and 14 days later she goes home cured. And I'm just so thankful for their expertise, for all the years they've spent. And for all those CHI babies that came before her, thank you. Thank you for all they went through so that we would have the research where it is now that she could be cured. Thank <laughs> you.